What up guys, Ryan here. So today I wanted to make a video just giving you a suggestion of a free way of automating that when you publish a new product to your Etsy shop, it can also be published to your shop's Facebook page, which if you don't have one, go make one. And your Twitter account, which if you don't have one, go make one. And Pinterest shop, which if you don't have one, go make one. Now there's a strategy behind this madness and it is that the more online real estate you occupy, the more money you make. I've said that so many times. It's my motto. I think it's original. I don't know if anybody else said it before me, but I, 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 I'm I, considering it my own. And it's so true, guys. It's not enough just to say, oh, well, it's on Etsy. So like, why would I need to put it anywhere else? It's not how it works. Think about when you shop. Like, If you go to buy something at Giant instead of whatever, what other, uh, whatever other grocery store you shop at, why are you at giant? Like, what if you're overpaying because you could get it cheaper somewhere else? Well, you chose to go to giant for whatever reason. And brands that have their products available for sale in giant are now eligible for you to purchase a brand that's not carried in giant, but it's carried in Safeway or some other grocery store is not eligible for you to purchase unless you leave giant and drive over there. So the whole point here is like, occupy as much space online as possible you don't know when you're going to show up in someone's twitter feed someone's facebook i mean facebook's a lot less likely they pretty much make you pay um pinterest feed though you want to be everywhere that you possibly can be and there's only so much time in a day and your time is money so i wouldn't recommend like there's so many people out there oh social media social media free organic outreach there's it's don't don't think that this is going to like make you a bunch of money overnight it's not but there's absolutely no reason not to take advantage of the fact that these social media platforms are out there with lots of uh, monthly users, not all just bots. Um, and you can automate posting to all of these platforms. And sometimes you'll get free organic visibility. Uh, Facebook's probably the only place where it's like really tough to. But uh, Pinterest, for instance, like you can still get free organic visibility there. And the screen that I have right here that I haven't talked about yet, this is called if this then that ifttt.com this has actually been around for a while i remember it back when i was in college and you can basically like without writing any code or anything like that people create what's called applets which hook into their website and basically you just trust it to the technical people that they've got it figured out you can go grab free applets that i've showing you right here such as etsy to pinterest suppose you just want to publish to pinterest after you post a new product to etsy boom you can get an applet for that or there's one right here that says new or renewed etsy listings and they pull from your etsy list your etsy shops rss feed which is automatically happening so you don't need to change anything in your etsy shop will publish to facebook twitter and pinterest so this is just killer this is everything you need i'll put a link in the video description but there's no reason not to be using this facebook free twitter free pinterest free if this then that free this applet free and i so i just made a uh, new twitter account for a new etsy shop that i'm experimenting with and i just wanted to show you guys the screenshot this is from like this is literally from the last four hours i've been watching some tv posting some stuff to etsy having a chill day before making some videos and then my day's gonna get a little bit more hectic after this but this is and this is only half of my activity on twitter now, that being said, those of you that are familiar with Twitter know that there's a lot of bots. Twitter and Instagram specifically are full of bots. So I don't know if any of these are real people. That being said, this is, like I said, this is half of my activity feed. All of these tweets ha posting to my product on Etsy are automated. Keep in mind, too, that like Google's indexing these tweets. So is it's indexing your uh, your pins on Pinterest as well. So it's increasing the odds of Google pushing somebody to your etsy fee or you know maybe to your tweet or to your pin which then goes to your etsy shop um, again it's like a crazy equation and it only gets more convoluted as time moves on but hopefully you trust me enough to know that like if i say i'm using it um hopefully you can trust that it's uh it's not even like an experimental thing guys i mean it works you can see there uh if this then that ifttt.com all of this is free I'll include a walkthrough, like a hand-holding walkthrough with screenshots and videos in my print-on-demand course. I don't feel like I need to do it, honestly, for YouTube because the reality of this stuff is that it's extremely easy to do. 
Um, it's literally like click next, click next, authorize this app to publish to Facebook, authorize this app to publish to Twitter. Um, integrating with Etsy feed, all you have to do is copy paste your shop name into the URL to get your RSS feed. Extremely easy, guys. If it was that hard, I would post a walkthrough, but it's not. I trust you guys to figure it out. So go ahead, do it. It probably takes in total, if you needed to make a new Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest page, it probably takes 30 minutes. And I mean, if if you already have like an optimized Etsy shop, which by the way, cough, cough, I've made a video about, meaning you've got a good profile picture, a good header banner, you've got a good about us, then you can copy paste all those things. And it should take you 10 minutes to make a Facebook page, Twitter page, and Pinterest page. It should take no time. And then you're thinking, oh, how am I going to maintain content? Well, don't worry about it. Just have it done automatically. That's the whole point of if this, then that. It's all about automation. It's all about scalability, which if you guys are watching my channel, you know that passive income is all about scalability. If you're trading your time for money, it's not passive, right? So check this out completely free. I hope this tip um, brings you some extra business. And if you like this video, please go ahead, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, hit me up below, and I will see you guys at the next video.